In the impact segment tonight, income inequality and class warfare. It's a major theme for liberals in this country who say the American economy is not fair. Now enter gazillionaire rapper Jay-Z. I don't want to really want to scare America, but the, the, the real problem is there's no middle class, right? So the, the gap between the have and have nots is getting wider and wider. Wait, let me just finish this point because I do want to scare them a little bit. It's going to be a problem that no amount of police can solve because, you know, once you have that sort of oppression, you know, and that gap is widening, you know, there, there's, it's inevitable that something's going to happen. Joining us now to react, Michael Skolnick, a board member of the Trayvon Martin Foundation and president of GlobalGrind.com, a pop culture website. Uh, Michael, great to see you. Good uh, to see so, you too. some uh, tough words from Jay Z there. I mean, uh, he's obviously an incredibly successful entrepreneur. He's worth almost a half a billion dollars, uh, and he's involved in all sorts of business interests, and, and all of them, as far as I can tell, quite successful. Uh, and he says that, he makes that point about, well, basically, watch out. Uh, you're not going to be able to control the streets if this keeps going. Is that, is that a responsible thing to say? Well, I think what Jay meant, I think a lot of folks in this country, a lot of patriotic Americans in this country, from Tea Party members to the folks who occupy Wall Street, a lot of folks, I think, would agree with Jay Z. He says there's a, a widening gap of income inequality and the haves and the have nots are getting farther and farther apart. I don't think this is a controversial statement that Jay Z made. I think Jay Z talking about that the streets might, you know, erupt, um, I think is a figure of speech. I mean, certainly uh, the Tea Party folks, you know, and rightfully so, were protesting you know, an idea that, you know, that the middle class was disappearing and that folks were no longer part of the American right, dream. Right, but they're not threatening, they're not threatening implicitly or explicitly that things from their perspective are going to get violent. You know, they go to no, rallies, no, they, but, but they have Laura, Uncle Sam hats Laura, you on. Know, but Laura, come on, you're not going to say Jay-Z is, is, is advocating for violence. This is a man no, his no, entire career. No, no, I didn't career. say he advocated it. I said he referenced it, which he has, in a, lot of, he has a lot of power sure. and a lot of authority, I think, in, in the black community, for sure. better or for worse. Some people don't and like the his white lyrics, and we'll talk as well. about that. I That's mean, right, very successful. So what, what, for him to say that, I think it's interesting, given the fact that Barack Obama has been president over the last five years. I was looking back over something that you wrote, Michael, back in September. You put out, I guess, a column, and you said, uh, you know, Obama is the best candidate for our generation. Will not waver in our support of Barack Obama. You wrote that on the Global Grind. Yeah. And and uh, Jay Z, huge supporter of Obama's. Yet over the last five years, black wealth and Hispanic wealth have eroded at a record pace. Unemployment has skyrocketed. Black youth. Uh, blacks in general lagging way behind whites under Obama's watch. So if Jay Z is well, going to be I talking think, about Laura, this, Laura, why is he supporting Barack Obama's Laura, policies? I mean, come Mike? on, that's incredibly unfair. Uh, black unemployment was skyrocketing under George Bush as well, and black not wealth like has this. Uh, black nah. wealth has declined for the past 50 years. So this is not Barack Obama's well, fault that they have and have not to separate it. Michael, Michael. Michael, this is hope and change. You can't blame Bush five years into a presidency. No one's blaming you Bush. We've had Barack economic Obama's growth record. for four and a half years. You've had job growth in this country for four and a half years. For the first time, we're seeing black unemployment Part -time actually job go growth. down last month for the first time in growth. years. We have had 93% of the jobs created in the last year, Michael, part-time jobs. We yeah, have you're not going to you know, look someone in the eye, Laura, and tell someone who's unemployed, devastated. you don't have a job, it's just a part-time job, so good luck. Folks who are out no. of work would take anything they no. can get right no, now. No, 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 Michael, we're talking about income inequality. Absolutely. And I think, he, I think he's right. I think we have a middle class that is eroding in this yes. country. I agree with Jay-Z So Jay -Z why are you worried about what Jay-Z said? Sadly, Let's support him. No, no, no. Sadly, his, the person that he's supporting and w unwavering, your support is unwavering, his policies have really done nothing to spur the type of growth that will help everybody, black, white, well, we, Hispanic, I, I, everybody. Obviously, obviously, we're not going to, on the show in 30 seconds, figure out that problem. We're going to agree to disagree. I think Barack Obama has been a phenomenal president for this country. I think Barack Obama does, has done an tr incredible amount for the middle on class and for black Americans on and for Latino Americans Michael? as well. I'm Honestly, sorry? I, I mean, you, you seem like a really nice guy. I, mean, I don't want <laughs> to be able to jump on you here. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly wanting to know, on what measure is Barack Obama a, quote, great president for America, especially black Americans? On what, just what metric? Well, let's talk about the Affordable Care Act. The Affordable Care Act is bringing a million young people who are into the, into the health care system. Okay, wildly unpopular, but go ahead. Wildly unpopular amongst your viewers, but not wildly unpopular amongst my friends and amongst my generation. My generation is thrilled. 
vote for the Affordable Care Act. My generation is finally yeah. getting someone who's going to look after them so. and making sure they're not left to the streets. Yeah. So, okay. What else, what else other than that? Which, uh, which, he, 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 which ended two wars, he ended two wars, which my brothers mm -hmm. and sisters are the ones who are fighting them and being killed in the front lines. So he's bringing home the troops, which we asked him to bring home. That's number right. two. He's asking That's, for universal pre-K, which is a game changer in terms that, of education. How has that helped income inequality? You, you're losing my point. Jay-Z is arguing against income inequality. That's fine. Barack Obama's policies haven't bridged that gap. Absolutely, and the hope, I, I completely disagree. The hope are he, slogans. He, he, there are a lot of slogans, Barack but no Obama, real hope. Barack Obama extended the, the middle class tax cut and did not extend the tax cut for the wealthy. That helps economic inequality in this country. He's creating jobs. Didn't to, help at all. I'm sorry. Didn't help at all. It didn't help at all. It, I, it, that, I mean, that's just verifiably untrue. And nor, and by the way, nor does it help, Michael, when Jay Z puts on out songs like Holy Grail with the N word, the S word, the F word. None of Laura, that Laura, helps Laura, anyone's inequality. Laura, income Laura, you're inequality not going to tell, you're not tell that Jay Z doesn't help when 80,000 young kids across this country are going to see him yeah. and Justin Timberlake every single day. You're not going to win that argument. That helps. That helps income inequality. You're not going. He's an entrepreneur. He is. A, he is a, the embodiment of what I've American Dream is all about. You are I've not going to win that argument. Uh, he sells 80,000 uh, yeah. tickets. One yeah, million that, albums in one that, week. Does that mean it's good? It's that, no. That, that means that young people look at him as, as a yeah. hero to them. You may yeah. not like him, but they love Inequality. him. Inequality. I your think kids he's talented. Him. He's wasting his talent. I appreciate it, Michael. Great <laughs> to see you. And